purchase your tracks today. All right, everybody, we're out here at the uh, in the eye of a hurricane, actually. Um, we're hoping that Kyle doesn't get struck by lightning, but the odds of that are pretty slim since he's definitely not the tallest thing in the field. Um, but today we're going to be talking about Mod K Armory and their porting services. Um, if you take a look right over here, you can see in my Glock 34, there is porting on this barrel, and this is the stock window. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to test the functionality of this porting with four different kinds of rounds. Uh, my usual go-to, which is uh, Winchester White Box 124 grain NATO, um, Winchester <laughs> USA Forge, which is probably the worst ammo on the planet. Um, I think Tula might be better. Winchester White Box 115 grain and Remington UMC 115 grain. Um, we're gonna test the functionality and then we're gonna compare it to the Roland Special and see why you might want to go with a Glock 34 with Mod K Armory porting over a KKM Comp Glock 19. All right, so Mod K Armory is a uh, is a Glock milling outfit in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Um, they have a barrel, par barrel, <laughs> barrel porting service. Um, it usually only costs about 100 bucks. It's really just not that expensive. Um, if you have a Glock 34 or a Glock 35 Gen 3 or 4 with an open window, they'll port this barrel for you. All you got to do is send out the barrel and let them know that you've got a stock opening in your uh, 34 or 35 slide, port the barrel, get it sent right back to you. Um, full disclosure, they didn't pay me. They didn't give me any money. I paid for this all on my own. Um, this is my Glock 34. No shilling here, just 100% objective review. Uh, I paid for it with my own money once again. All right, now we're gonna get to some shooting. All right, first round, first mag is going to be on the um, the Winchester steel case. Um, I'm going to be shooting at this dueling tree. Uh, I'm not really going for marksmanship. I'm just shooting at it for something to shoot at. Um, we'll see if it works. Ten rounds, by the way. No malfunctions. Go on to the next one. Now we've got the Remington UMC 115 grain. Same deal as last time. It works. Next is going to be uh, Winchester White Box 115 grain. Same deal as last time. I think that actually shot the flattest out of all of them, and it worked. All right, last mag for a test thing is going to be, I mean, this is kind of redundant. We know it's going to work. Uh, 124 grain NATO, Winchester white box. It works. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do some uh, group testing at speed. I'm going to compare this with the Roland Special. Uh, I did make a change to this Glock 34. Almost all my Glocks have 13 pound recoil springs. I found that it keeps the muzzle flip down um, even more so than porting and just having a flat shooting gun already does. Um, both are going to have the uh, X300 attached to it as a control because I mean I carry with an X300. If I'm shooting an open I'm going to put an X300 on it anyway. So either way um, we're going to have it on the gun both times. All right, let's do some group testing. Recording. Please tell me you are. Yeah. You can put that in the outtake for real. All right, here we go. All right, now we're gonna do the rolling special. Interesting results. All right, as you can see, this is the grouping for the Mod K. Um, 
Now, if you come on over here, this is the grouping with the KKM compensator combo. Now, let's go back over to the Mod K. You'll see that the Mod K is actually a bit tighter. Now, I don't know if this is entirely due to the porting itself or the fact that it's out of a Glock 34 with a larger grip. That is something for your consideration. Remember, you can also do a Roland Special with a Glock 19X or a Glock 45, which would net the same size gun as a Glock 34. But this is what you've got with Winchester White Box 115 grain. It's interesting, um, and it's a touch cheaper than the, actually it's quite a bit cheaper than a KKM. And now we're gonna go back to the table and we're gonna talk, talk over some more points. Just to touch on something real quick here, um, the reason why I'm comparing these two isn't just for the porting. If you look at these two guns, they're almost identical in slide length. And this is actually a big consideration. Uh, this actually isn't a big consideration when it comes to concealing your gun. Um, you'll find that grip length is more conducive to being conceal being a more better concealed gun And you'll notice that that obviously the Glock 19 is going to have a shorter grip um, But the size between these two is Extremely similar um, if not identical. They both fit in the same holsters as you saw um, That's why I'm comparing these two you can get similar roll and special performance for a little less money out of a ported Glock 34 than you can from a KKM compensator combo um, either the same or very similar performance. It's just something to consider. Um, they're both great options. I love my Roland Special. It shoots extremely flat. I love shooting it, it's very accurate. The KKM barrel is actually considerably accurate than the stock barrel. You can find your own testing on that. I'm not gonna waste your time with a 28 minute video of me just rambling on with group sizes that have zero scientific weight because you know it's not a ransom rat not that this is you know the most scientific test but it's pretty indicative same shooter you know very similar guns and you saw the results Like, subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I can even make an additional video answering any of your questions, or I can comment. Whatever you need. If you've got questions about any of the products that we review, talk about concepts, let us know. We'll be glad to help. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Infantry Field Manual, Ranger Handbook. Don't forget. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. You get the little one. <laughs>